أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد بعد بارك الله سيدي الشيخ سيدي محمد فوزي الكركري قدس الله سره Notes from lecture of August 31st 2024 Before starting this video I would like to say that this work would never have seen the light without Sidi Shaykh If something is wrong it will be from myself and everything that is correct is from Sidi Shaykh In a dream vision, Ru'ya, the disciples saw that he met the Shaykh who gave him a rosary, Subha, that he wore around his neck The Shaykh provided him with some advice that the disciple wrote down on a piece of paper fearing he might forget it. The disciple then returned to his village with another disciple who accompanied him in this journey or wandering, Siyaha. At one point, they encountered the Shaykh who asked the disciple, will you not be able to complete this wandering, this Siyaha? The disciple, exhausted, began to fall to earth as if in prostration while hearing the Shaykh's words. The Shaykh looked at the other disciple as if signaling that his fellow disciple would succeed in this test due to his prostration to the Creator, his brokenness and humility. In his response, Sidi Shaykh first spoke about the Rosary as Subha. He said that outwardly, the Rosary serves as a tool to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, in reality, the Rosary is the umbilical cord between the disciple and the Shaykh, much like the umbilical cord between a baby and its mother while the baby is still in the womb. Whoever leaves his rosary, he cut the cord and will no longer have a subtle flow, sarayan, spiritual flow, madad, or spiritual aspiration, word. The sarayan and madad reach the disciple through the litany, al word. To perfect this litany, the disciple needs a tool, which is the rosary, as subha, to count from one to one hundred, without increase or decrease. Sini Shaykh warned that Adam to or subtracting from the litany on purpose results in invalidating the word as the disciple produced the number from his own self. The disciple pledged allegiance to the shaykh with this number. The shaykh, in turn, pledged allegiance to his own shaykh with this number, continuing this chain of allegiance through such shaykhs and relation the Prophet وسلم, with the exact same number. Adding to or removing is as if the disciple is disparaging the litany or implying that the shaykh does not know what he is doing or that he provided the number randomly. Sidi Shaykh added that this matter does not require an intellectual approach or additional methods as it is permitted by Allah and his messenger وسلم, with this specific number and using the same rosary with 100 beats. Some people use a digital calculator or similar devices to count, but this is typically for extreme situations. The original tool is the rosary. Additionally, the recommended time for reciting the litany is after the maghrib and sub prayers. The shaykh made an exception for those with strict circumstances, not for everyone. Otherwise, there is no need for specific reasoning when choosing the time for their word. Sidi Shaykh added that the word is to be done before sleeping and the best time is between the Maghrib and Aisha prayers. And one should not sleep without performing this function, Wadifa. Then, the morning litany is to be performed after the Subh prayer. Sidi Shaykh added that wearing the rosary around the neck is to realize that it is a trust, a manner, to be upheld when meeting the Lord. Preserving and respecting it will act as a positive testimony for the disciple, whereas ruining it will stand as a testimony against him. It's a trust around his neck. Some may put it in their hands or their pockets, and this is not allowed in the spiritual warfare, Sulug. To underline the importance of the rosary, Sidi Shaykh shared a story of Shaykh Sidi Al-Alawi Rahimahullah. Someone brought him a rosary, telling him that they found a Alawi Subha on the ground. Shaykh Al-Alawi then asked, Where is its head? They said, we found it without a head. He said, this is not a alawi subha, because if it were true, alawi subha, you would find the head of its owner with it. 
Some might belittle the rosary or avoid to wear it around their neck, fearing to lose their social status. The rosary is a divine medal. It's not an academic or professional medal, but rather a divine medal. Sidi Shaykh added that he wishes for the disciple to enter his intellect and heart in the niche, Mishkad, of the divine light, just like he entered his neck in the rosary. Entering the head in the rosary is similar to entering in the ha of identity, ha al hawiya al Junaid, rahimahullah, when his rosary fell to the ground, he fainted and fell to the earth himself. They asked him, O oh, Imam, with your great status, why did you fall with the rosary? He said, Yes, it is a tool through which we have come to know Allah, and thus it has become greatly revered in our hearts. Sidi Shaykh warned that the rosary is not an accessory, but a foundation of the path of Allah. He noted that some disciples, due to their world conditions, are unable to display the rosary. Instead, they wear it under their clothes and refuse to remove it, even though it may be strictly forbidden to wear it at work. Sidi Sheikh added that the rosary is a connection with the center of the hair, a connection with the divine fluid, al al rahmaniyya a connection with Allah. Sidi Sheikh mentioned that there are multiple types of subha. There is the subha of humans, the subha of jinns, the subha of angels. For those who have been assigned to the tariqah, all of them have the same remembrance and litany. While there are other forms of remembrance, for those assigned to the tariqah, it's the same dhikr. It's not that there are no other types of remembrance, rather for those who have been assigned to the tariqah, it's the same dhikr. It's like an identity card. With it, the disciple is recognized, his connection to the Prophet wasallam is known, doors are open for him, and obstacles are removed in the spiritual realm. This is the rosary. It's not a rosary brought from a shop and worn by its buyer. Sidi Shaykh emphasized that this rosary was received directly from the Shaykh. It is blessed, mubarak, and authorized ma'aduna from all realm. It's similar to someone who works for a company and wears a company badge. When this badge is seen, it identifies the person as an employee of the company. Likewise, when a disciple wears the subha around his neck, it signifies his connection to the Prophet wasallam through this tariqah. So that was all for this video. Alhamdulillah, Allah. لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق اللهم لك الحمد اللهم لك الحمد اللهم لك الحمد اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد المجيد سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلامنا المرسلين والحمد لله لرب العالمين